In this video, we'll learn about projections in ClickHouse. Projections are a way of speeding up queries by creating a copy of the data in a query optimized layout. So you can think of a projection as an additional hidden table that's updated atomically and consistently with the original table. There are generally three ways of using projections. So we might have the whole data set ordered by a different column or columns. It could be that we have a subset of the data in a different order, or maybe we're going to have a pre-computed aggregation. Let's launch ClickHouse and see how it works. So I've got a table of UK property prices. So let's have a quick look at that. You can see we've got a bunch of different fields. So we've got postcodes, we've got the type of the property, the price it was sold at, and then notice that it's ordered by postcode and then address. Let's have a look how many records we'll be working with. So it's 30 million, so not too many. And we're going to write a query to try and work out the average price that houses are sold for by county. And you can see that result comes back. It takes 53 milliseconds. We've got Greater London, Windsor and Maidenhead, and then West Northamptonshire. So it's actually reasonably fast, but let's decide that that is not fast enough for the app that we're building and we need it to be faster. So we can use projections. So I'm going to create a new table just so we have everything separate and it's going to have the same structure as the original one. And then we're going to insert data into this new projections table from our initial table. That'll take a few seconds and now we're done. And what we're going to do next is add a projection onto that table and it's going to, and the projection is defined as a query. So we're going to say select and it's county average price group by county. So it's effectively part of the query that we had before. There's still one more step to do after that, which is to materialize this projection. Now, by default, this happens asynchronously. If we want it to happen synchronously, we need to use this mutations sync and set that to one. Now, this happens super fast. As you can see, it's already done. It would take longer if the projection included every row in the table, but this is a subset because we grouped by the county. If we want to see whether the mutations happened, we can query the system mutations table. And you can see in here, it's got the command that was run. And then we can see is done is set to one. If that was not, if it was in progress, that would be set to zero. We can also have a look at the structure of the hidden table by querying the projection part columns table. And you can see it comes back. So we've got our county, which is the low cardinality string. And then the average price column is using aggregation state. And that, what that means is that it makes it easy for it to then be updated when new data is entered into the original table. We can then go and rerun our initial query, but this time on the projections table. And you'll notice it's got the same result, but it took only four milliseconds versus the 53 that we saw the first time. We can check whether the projections being used by putting the explain indexes equals one prefix. And if we run that, you can see on the read from merge tree line, you can see it's using the projection in brackets there. So the trade-off for creating a projection and having this faster query is that more space is being taken up and we can query the projection parts table to have a look how much space that is. And you can see here it's 130 rows, 3.28 kilobytes and 2.8 kilobytes compressed. So this, in this case, it's hardly any space at all. But if you were having every single row reordered, it would be a bit more. For more videos on cool ClickHouse features, you'll want to check out this playlist next.